Welcome to Stillwater. Today we're going to be talking about the setup I have on my tractor to water my garden and to carry all the things that I might need. I got Brody with me today and he's going to be helping us out. <laughs> problems I've had with this garden is getting it watered. My house is way over there and there's no water hose out here. So I get to carry pails of water back and forth and back and forth. Sometimes it felt like all I was doing was carrying water and that the garden just kept getting farther and farther away. So I had to find a better solution than that. From that I graduated up to thinking straight and saying, hey, I got a tractor. Why don't I use it? Well, I came across the ultimate solution. And so here's what I came up with. I just bought a used IBC tote, hooked it up to the back of the tractor, put a water hose and a pump on it so I could water things with it, even added some storage to it so that I could carry the tools that I needed. And it has worked out great. So this thing has really saved me a lot of time and back-breaking effort carrying water back and forth from the house. Prior to having this set up, I put a 25-gallon bucket on the front of the tractor and just lifted the bucket as high as it would go and used gravity to feed water out a water hose. Well, there's a couple of problems with that. One, it's not real safe to lift a bucket that's full of water that heavy, that high with this little tractor. Secondly, the water that came out, came out really slow. Gravity feed is not very fast at that height. The last problem I had with it was it just wasn't enough water. I was constantly making trips back and forth with the tractor to fill it back up. And it was a lot of work. This is obviously a much larger tank and it's held up by a carry-all from Tractor Supply mounted on the three-point hitch. This total holds like 275 gallons of water. However, I can only fill it up to 75 because it just won't lift that much water. Water weighs eight pounds per gallon. 100 gallons of water is 800 pounds. That's a lot. And this isn't a big tractor. Out of this IBC tote, I just have a water hose adapter, hooks up to a water hose. It comes up here, runs through the grates to a pump. And then this pump goes over to a water hose on a reel. Then I just use a regular watering wand to water. I'll put a link to this pump in the description so you can check it out. This pump is great. Whenever I turn off the water, it stops pumping. It, it's got a pressure valve. So the pump turns on when you need it, turns off when you need it. So this is how simple it works. I'll turn on the switch. Pump kicks on. Water's going. Turn the switch off. Pump pressure's up, turns off. <laughs> works great. This thing has about the pressure of a water hose. Works pretty good. One of my absolute favorite modifications to this thing is putting this old pallet on the back. It helps me hold my garden tools. Carrying a hoe, a rake, or a shovel in a tractor is not an easy task. Those things are long and they just don't fit well. Strapping this on the back, I have no problem carrying all those tools. Brody even has a spot for his. And for extra storage, I just strap this garden crate on the top of the IBC tote, and it really helps for carrying all kinds of miscellaneous things. Tractors are not known for having really good storage. Without this, the only good storage place on this tractor is the bucket. But we have other things that we could carry there. But we put soil and plants in there so we can plant them. Yep. So by putting all this stuff on the back, I have freed up my bucket to carry the things I need like soil and plants and all kinds of other stuff. Hook the water pump up. I just have some clips that I hook on to the, to the battery of the tractor. Hey Brody, open the hood. There we go. And then we just hook it up to the battery. The rule is make sure it's on the off position before you hook it up. Then I just route it through here where it won't be a problem with the hood. Ta-da! <laughs> so here we have the cable with some slack coming through, goes through the tractor, runs through some grooves so it's out of the way, on into the hood and we got the switch right here. And that's how it works. And this switch is great because I can just turn it off and not have to worry about sparks when I hook the wires up or remove them. I really love the hose reel on this thing. It makes it very convenient to be able to get the hose out and into the garden. Not only that, it's sitting up so high that whenever I pull the tractor up next to the electric fence here, this thing just pulls out right over the top of that fence. 
works out really well for me. The only thing I could do better than this is maybe getting an auto retracting hose reel. That way when I'm in the garden, I just yank on the hose and it pulls itself in. I found I needed to mount this to wood. Um, I had this just zip tied on top and it fell off and broke one of my pumps and I had to order a new pump. So I've mounted this wood on here. This is just some wood I've milled up and I've zip tied it, <laughs> zip tied it on and it works just great. And then I've mounted my pump on here and mounted the reel. So it's rock solid and it's not gonna go anywhere. I have a question that the viewers might wanna know. What's that? How do you mount the stuff on the wood? Nope, there's, for this one, there's screw holes. I just mounted it. And right here is screw holes. I just mounted it. Any other questions you got, Brody? Why did you use zip ties again if they broke? Well, I used big zip ties this time and a lot of them, see? There's a lot more zip ties on here this time. It ain't going nowhere, little secret. Even the back part zip tied on. <laughs> To use it, we just turn the switch on. Go ahead, Brody, turn it on. You can hear the pump fire up. And it stopped, because it's pressurized the system, and it's ready to go. Water in the corn we planted. One of them. That looks good. Thank you. inspired you to look into something different if you've got a remote garden and need to water it maybe some of the ideas here will help you out thanks for joining me today and as always have a good one and god bless you